I was laughing because I started <laughs> recording a minute ago and I was like, damn, this kind of sucks because this video, you're really going to start with the car, what it looked like. We're going to get to this point of having it all done. Then we're going to take it all back apart and be back where we started. And that's the video. Yeah. <laughs> guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be working on the frs if you guys saw last video we got the front of the wide body kit mocked up in place cut a few things out to make it work but we got it all up and it looks really freaking good it, you're starting to really be able to see some kind of definition and truly like a starting place for what this car is going to end up looking like but anyways we've unboxed a few more things over here and we're going to get started installing all of this stuff today so these are the rear fenders these are the side skirts down there and a few little canards and stuff like that that we'll show you guys later but today what we're going to do is we are instead of just taping it up here we're going to get started drilling all of the holes that we need and starting to mount up all of these pieces and hopefully get them fit right so we're gonna have to figure out a way to get the side skirt on get our rear fender on and hopefully it all looks good and then the crazy part is that after we get this whole entire car put together we've got to take it all back apart i'm going to take all these pieces with me to atlanta we're going to have to wrap all of the cars uh kit in Atlanta at Atlanta Custom Wraps with Justin. I'm gonna take some wrap back home with me and then I'm gonna wrap the rest of the car here. So it's gonna be a busy next few videos to be honest with you, but I'm excited because while we go to Atlanta, not only just to wrap these pieces, I'm actually going to pick up the McLaren and there has been a lot of stuff done to the McLaren and I am excited to show you guys, but not important now. So let me show you guys what Doug did yesterday. If you come and look over here on the back, you guys remember that we had five holes. We had one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. And I told you guys from the previous wide body that was on this car, my chief concern when ordering this new kit was that it wasn't gonna cover up the holes. And quite literally my biggest fear uh, came true whenever we unboxed the kit and tested it the first time Time, and I realized that the kit only came to about here and the rest of these holes on the back were exposed and showing. Doug went behind here, actually was able to bondo this and get it smooth completely so the holes are now filled in. And what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna be able to wrap it and these holes are no longer gonna be visible, which is gonna be great. Hopefully we can get this whole entire kit, like I said, mocked up today. And like I said, if everything goes well, we're gonna take the entire kit back off and get it loaded up because I need to go take it to Atlanta. I'm actually leaving on Thursday, today's Tuesday, so we've got about 48 hours to get this kit installed, mocked up, disassembled, loaded up, and then hopefully this car is gonna be a finished product in about a week from now. So I am super freaking pumped to see this thing. I, it's just, this has been a pretty cool project. Anyways, Let's jump into this video and get started because we've got a lot of stuff to do. All right, so our lift arms are getting in the way of where the side skirts are. Obviously, it's quite close right here, so we're not gonna be able to actually access our side skirts. So we've got these little rollers that we're gonna set the car down on so that way the car is elevated off the ground a few inches and the lift arms will be able to move out of the way so we'll have some space. I'm pretty excited about this, to be honest. I've never gotten this in depth of the car or done anything wide body related or anything like that, especially not myself, so this is pretty cool. This has been a fun project. Well, let me kick these lift arms out the way. All right. So me and Doug were just talking and I think the way that we're gonna attack this is one step at a time, of course. We're gonna start on the front bumper and get this thing mounted up as good as possible. Once we are comfortable with how it is mounted up, then we're probably gonna keep moving backwards. So you see there's two bolt holes right here. Um, we're not gonna be able to attach the fender yet by drilling holes and bolting it on and stuff. So what we're probably gonna do is get the front bumper mounted properly, then work on attaching the fender with just these two bolt holes, taping the top to hold it. Once we have it mocked up in place pretty much, we'll be able to attach our side skirt and then get everything figured out. And the reason why I say get it figured out is because the front fender, the front bumper, the side skirts and the rear fender actually all bolt together to be one piece so we need to make sure that everything is going to be centered and we're going to get everything done right so it doesn't look janky so inside of here we've got some zip ties holding on the corner so this is fixed in place now same thing over here zip tie in place it is fixed f b f c f l i can only get front left 
Yeah, but what is FC? Front corner. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, How many is there in the FC? R, there's RC, and is that SS? Side skirts maybe? And then FC. Wait, yeah, does SS have self tappers? Yeah, side skirts for sure. Side corner? I don't know. For some reason, this is a true Rocket Bunny kit too. That's the funniest part. And there is like no instructions. There was two pages of instructions if you guys saw last video and it was literally like cut here and attach here. And that was it. It'd be nice to know what the abbreviations mean. I think we can figure everything else out pretty easily. Yeah. Maybe FC is front corners. How many do we have in here? One, two, Hopefully three, four. or six. Wait, actually that would make sense because there's one bolt on the inside of there yeah. and one, two right here. All right. This is gonna be side skirt, so. FB. Front bumper. Big old long, yups. That does not look like front bumper bolts. <laughs> Sheet metal screws. <laughs> I bet that goes here. Oh, yeah. Inside of here, there's actually just a ton of self tappers to hold on the fenders. Uh, I don't know if we really like that yet or not. We're gonna get our front fender bolted up. Hold it in place, get it taped up just to say, to where we can see where it's gonna go. Then we've got these two bolts back here that attach to our side skirt right about there. And then we'll tape up the side skirt to get it held in place. And then we're gonna have to attach our rear fender with some bolts back here. Then <laughs> tape up the rear fender and get it in place. Then after that, we should be able to actually start bolting stuff up. All right, so we got two bolts here in place. Try and slowly feed these through and get some nuts attached on the other side. All right, those are through. The fitment here doesn't look too terrible. It actually is coming together to look a lot better than what I thought it was going to, especially compared to the last kit. The last kit, the lines did not line up at all, and this one actually is like right on perfect. I just got a text back from Will at RPG Race Engines. <laughs> Frankenstein finally shipped the heads out. He hasn't gotten them yet, but they finally shipped them. Ooh. Ooh. That's all I'm gonna say. You let me know where. Okay. You go from the bottom. Yeah. There it goes. I got it. Yep, I'm gonna put one in here. <laughs> Not two, because this one's an interesting one to get to. Whew, that's gonna be another one that's just gonna be real fun to get some hardware into. I have a feeling probably the best way to do this upon reassembly is gonna be. Yeah, assemble it all together yeah, and, and set, set it all as one. Car. Yeah. That does <laughs> make a lot more sense. In fact, I'm pretty sure in the instructions, I think it actually did say that. <laughs> look, look, it literally says body kit. Step one, attach front. We did attach the front. And then step two is to connect the front fender, the side skirt and the rear fender. And then once you connect them, then it says attach them. So yeah, they were, they definitely were. <laughs> <laughs> they were on to something. <laughs> but something about like that right there is what we're looking at. So now you can really see the whole shape of the car coming together. And I am happy because the car is sitting on its own weight now. And we can definitely see that these cam the camber on the front and the rear can get pulled a lot now, luckily. All right, so now that we've got it mocked up and kind of got an idea, we're gonna shoot for the real deal this time. So we're gonna pull this thing off, get it out of the way and then reattach everything the way that we're supposed to now, and then <laughs> go for some holes and see what we can do. Got those, so now front fender. <sighs> okay, so now that we got the wide body on the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and finalize this and get it all bolted up. Can we turn the wheel so that's out the way? Guess not. <laughs> front fender is attached. Let me come back here. All right, I'm gonna try our bolts up here so that way we've got these in place. Yeah, this tape sure does suck. <laughs> no! <laughs> Retrofit Source just now messaged Daniel and they said, we posted to our Instagram on the Retrofit Source to see who our followers favorite YouTuber was and Gavin won by a literal landslide. I thought you guys, I know you guys are crazy busy, but going off the sheer amount of votes that we received, I really think that doing a collab with you guys would work very well for both of us. I will say our, our fan base is like insanely engaged with yeah. like anything and everything compared to like other fans. Yeah, see guys, if you're watching this video right now and you are super engaging and you help us out like this, I applaud you. I appreciate you more than you know. It's literally for stuff like this. 
whenever our sponsors send us emails and texts back saying that we are blowing everybody else out of the water, that is literally because of you guys watching. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> so thank you guys, I appreciate that. Anyways, uh, if you look down, you can see how like actually folded in the wheels are now. We'll be able to pull a great bit of camber out. And whenever you air it out right now, it's gonna camber in even harder. So we'll probably have like two or three inches of shitty fitment <laughs> that we're gonna have to take out anyway. So it's gonna look good, I think. Yeah, I, I agree. The progress of this car yeah, and knowing where it came from. Headlights, I don't even know what they look like, but they'll probably look good. Yeah, they look intense. It's the same headlights that um, are in that car. Well, not the same, but the same brand. Actually, the retrofit source, the people yeah, that we're talking yeah, no. about is those headlights. Ooh. Yeah, I Yeah. Know. Oh, that looks so much better. So instead of like the chrome housing with super bright LED looking shit, it's gonna be sleek as hell. Yeah, I think this car honestly is probably gonna come together and be pretty sick. It just doesn't look like it yet. <laughs> we're gonna do hardware on this side, get the whole kit put together and get that side mounted as well. Doug's probably gonna go grab some lunch after that. And whenever he gets back from lunch, we're gonna start drilling and tapping all of our holes. Well, not tapping, but self-tapping drilling. <laughs> like a dentist with a drill. I be digging in they mouth. Got money, retarded. <laughs> don't want it if it don't clap when she walking. Uh, LS swap it with one of the kits that I found online for about eight grand. Everything bolts up so perfect too. They sell a front cradle kit. We can even put catalytic converters in it in the factory locations of the LS, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, <laughs> actually. It'd be even better if we could change 2J, I know, I know. Honestly, I don't even hate the idea of getting another one in the future if money starts really rolling somehow. <laughs> getting another one in the future and building something similar and doing LS. And that's also contingent on if we even have cars five years from now or two years from now, six months from now, whatever. By the way, guys, if you have not had a chance to go sign the RPM Act, <laughs> please go down below, go read about the EPA and what they're doing and how they're taking literally all of these cars that you can see on camera right now, pretty much, because none of these would, would fly, I don't think. <laughs> so if you guys want to help us out, go to the link down below and go visit the RPM Act, go sign that thing. So then we got that up. And then the rear is, yeah, you already got that one. We'll probably have to trim up the bumper on this side and the rear just to match the other side, but not a huge deal. Just trim it from here, probably up. So, you know, look, this is why I mentioned earlier, guys, this is why it's super important that we're getting this thing fit up in place and wiggling it around and front and back and whatever. We wanna make sure that this is perfectly centered on both sides. And if we would have drilled the holes a second ago, uh, obviously we would have had a little bit of a problem. So we're just taping it up in place, standing back, looking at everything, making sure that everything looks good. And so far it's definitely coming along pretty well. It doesn't look bad at all. Pretty solid actually. Let's see, that one should work. All right. So now, Doug is gonna get started drilling some pilot holes and I'm gonna follow him and we're gonna do some self tappers and get everything held up in place. I know, this is so scary. Where do you wanna start? You tell me. I don't care, you're the one with the drill. I'm just doing the easy work behind you. <laughs> the drilling is the scary part for me. We have picked a final location and the first hole is getting drilled. <laughs> there she goes. Self tapper number one. <laughs> this feels so wrong. Amy, we're professional body men. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we're pros. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Has there? I, I honestly haven't ventured into this valley or this area of YouTube too much, so you would probably know better than me. But is there? any channels that have shown true wide body installs like this. I know there's been YouTubers who have wide body cars, but I've never seen anybody like actually install it themselves other than taking it to shops and shit. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't watch a whole lot of YouTube. I'm too busy to even do it. Yeah, I know, me too. That's why I didn't even know. So, oh, look at it. there it is. There is one side on. Just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off all of our tape since it is mounted in place properly now. We got this side completely attached at this point. Everything is self-tapped up in place. <laughs> and it really doesn't look bad. Looks pretty good. All the lines are matching up super nice. So I'm pretty confident with where we got this stuck for the first, I guess the first final placement of it. It's really not bad at all. Now we need to go do the other side. Once we get the other side on, we're gonna get the rear diffuser mounted. And once the rear diffuser is mounted, next up, we'll be worried. <laughs> Honestly, this is gonna be 
so stupid, but this entire video you guys have been watching is us getting up to this point just to reverse it all and be back where we started. That's, what a video. Just riveting content, huh? <laughs> it's actually screwing content. Screwing content. Screwing content. Yes, not riveting. That was the last bolt holding this body kit on. So everything is held on now by bolts, not by tape. So we'll remove our tape and our official mock-up will be done. I was laughing because I started recording a minute ago and I was like, damn, this kind of sucks because this video, you're really gonna start with the car, what it looked like. We're gonna get to this point of having it all done. Then we're gonna take it all back apart and be back where we started. And that's the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last thing that we need to do is get this diffuser mounted. Is that all the way up against the top here? Yep. Okay. Whatever it was, that was solid. The rear diffuser is on. We're gonna take uh, the rest of our self tappers and get it mounted up in place now. And I'll switch cameras to show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, so there we go. You can see that this one is definitely much, much more aggressive, and there's a little light that's gonna go here in the center of that rear diffuser. We just gotta get everything actually finalized before we're gonna put any of that stuff in, but it is in. Looks really, really aggressive. It's gonna look real good as well once we have the giant wing that goes on the back. I'm still not even gonna show you guys what it looks like yet. I just wanna wait, <laughs> so that way you guys' minds are blown just as much as mine are. But anyway, everything fits and looks amazing. So at this point, I think I'm pretty comfortable in the fact that once we wrap these pieces and take it back, it's all gonna go back together in the holes we already drilled and look amazing. So, unfortunately, I think it's time to take it all back apart. God. <laughs> time lapse, baby. guys so there we have it we've got our whole entire kit back off the car on the ground we still got to disassemble the rear fenders and the front fenders from that side skirt right there to get it all separated and ready but we got it all off of the car and it is back looking like a weird chopped up frs <laughs> but we're making progress so we're gonna get everything disassembled real quick and once we get it disassembled uh, we're gonna get it loaded up back in the box that we can't well that the whole kit came in Hopefully so that way we can fit everything into this box and be able to tape it up pretty nice because we've got Like a 10 hour or so drive and this is gonna all have to ride in the back of the truck So I'm praying that it doesn't rain or anything which I guess it wouldn't really matter But I'm just praying that this stuff goes super well because our last kit like I said it didn't make it so <laughs> if that happened with this kit it would quite literally probably be the end of the world for me. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on this video if you've been enjoying this build as much as I have. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I see that there's like 60% of people who watch the videos that aren't even subscribed. And so we kind of incentivize that once we hit a million 50,000 subs, we were gonna mod one of you guys' cars watching this. So that's a big thing. Uh, by the time this video goes up, we probably will have hit it. But um, at 1 million, 100,000, so 1.1 million subs, we're gonna be doing that again. So if you guys wanna get entered in, it's you literally just have to subscribe. It's, it's, it's easy. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next video.